and welcome back to my channel learn with nikhil so in this video we are going to study different types of 3d printers so in this chapter that is additive manufacturing techniques so let's begin so the contents which we'll be covering in this chapter will be just the classification so let's move with that so classification of 3d printing comes with the broad classification the first type of printers which come will be material extrusion so the uh maximum numbers of companies or uh, in homes or everywhere uh, small scale industries use this type of printer that is material extrusion then you have vat photopolymerization photopolymerization means uh, usage of light or laser then you have sheet lamination and you have powder bed fusion so this is the broad classification of 3d printers you have material extrusion vat photopolymerization sheet lamination and powder bed fusion so these are the extremities of all the 3d printers these are the four different categories and inside this there are different types of more 3d printer so material extrusion 3d printer is nothing but you have a filament or a material solid material which comes under this printer vat photopolymerization which includes liquid and you have some laser uh, to do the curing then sheet lamination the sheets of metals and everything uh, we have in this and then powder bed fusion again uh, metals can be printed with this so you have a powder material so here you have a strong filament then you have liquid you have sheets and you have powder now in this categories again you have in material extrusion you have fused based fabrication and liquid deposition modeling so these are the types of printers in this vat photopolymerization include stereolithography sheet lamination includes laminated object manufacturing and composite based additive manufacturing and powder bed fusion include selective laser so moving towards defining what is vat photopolymerization so in this vat means basically these are the two words vat and photopolymerization vat means the bucket uh, which we are using or the container in which we pour the liquid that container is called as vat and photopolymerization is nothing but the usage of light or any laser material uh, that is called as photopolymerization so the concept is that in vat photopolymerization we have a container which consist of a photopolymer or a resin liquid so when that resin liquid is exposed to uv light or laser that particular part where it is exposed it gets solidified and through that process we get the 3d object so that is vat photopolymerization so vp is a process of using a vat filled with a photopolymer photopolymer or resin along with a light source so there is a light source which hardens the layer and makes the 3d object so it is the most common sla printing or you can also call it as stereolithography printing it is the most common use the object which are printed in this are very uh, good and accurate uh, the quality is very good but it requires some uh, the post processing is there and it requires uh, confined uh, space so dlp digital light processing is another type of uh, Uh, vat photopolymerization so it is also a 3d printer type now moving forward now i'll explain the entire process of the 3d printer which comes under this vat photopolymerization so as i explained earlier this is the container so first we'll take a container this container is called as vat which i mentioned earlier now this container is filled with now liquid so we pour the liquid resin or photopolymer so this liquid resin or photopolymer it is filled with that then uh, you have a, a y axis this is a y axis where we place the object or where the object is created the 3d object is created so this is a uh, like an angle which goes up and down so this is the y axis which goes up and down this is the x axis so we have to move Uh, along the x axis y axis and z axis we have to move so this is the y axis which goes up and down in the resin so it is created while going downwards so the object is uh, the layer by layer object is created so first layer when it is created it goes down then the second layer is created so on this plate the first layer is created uh, through the laser then it goes down second layer is created likewise the entire 3d object is created this angle uh goes down and down and the entire when the entire object is created it is again pulled back up so i'll uh, we'll go with the animation so this is the y axis so we are considering one object this is uh, just a cone we are considering so this is made under the cad file then we'll slice this using the slicer software 
so we'll slice this into multiple layers uh, as we have seen in my earlier videos slices of the multiple layers are uh, created now here i am considering only three layers for explanation purpose so considering using the slicer software i am i have sliced this entire uh, 3d object into three layers so this is first layer bottom most layer middle layer and the top most layer but uh, in actual process there will be uh, many layers around uh, 100 200 layers will be there depending upon the quality so each layer one slice each layer is created so here i am for explanation purpose i am on, only considering this three layers so now creating the first layer first will require the the vat is ready now will require photopolymerization so you have a laser source so this is a curing device or a laser so the laser is coming out from this so wherever the laser is struck on this vat uh, or the liquid it gets solidified so wherever this laser is struck it that only parts get solidified so this laser is moving like this it is moving at the entire surface it will cover from this area to this area so it will move in this axis the laser will move in this axis it will have a mirror here uh, i have not shown a mirror but it will have a mirror which will deflect the laser source and it will cover this entire area so that will be the x axis y axis and the z axis so y axis here z axis it will go up and down okay so moving forward so this is how the first layer will be created so when the laser comes the first layer is created now as the first layer is created so now this angle this y axis will move downwards so we'll move this downwards but before moving this downwards we have a recoater blade which will move along this axis it will move like this while this is moving the laser will be stopped obviously so why when this is moving the layer of resin will come on top of this so this will move down and the layer of resin will come on top of this now again the second layer will be created using the light source again the recoater blade will move and this will move downward the resin will come on top and finally the last layer so this is how each and every layer will be created so if there are around 500 layers each layer will be created it will move down the laser will come it will cure that part again it will go down cure that part so layer by layer it is going so as this is a laser so the accuracy is quite good and you will get a very good and fine product so this is everything about the vat photopolymerization i'll repeat again you have a container which is called as a vat it has a liquid resin it has a laser source wherever the laser source strikes the part gets solidified and finally when the entire uh, part is made we have to pull this upward so you have to pull this upward and we'll get the uh, object so this is everything about vat photopolymerization now moving towards our next 3d printer that is material jetting so material jetting again uh, you have uh, material now here in material jetting the material which we are using is again a liquid material liquid type of material but here we will be using two different types of material so in some 3d printers uh, we are using two different types of material one material which will be used for building the actual object and the other material which will be used uh, for support material so that will be a water soluble material so whenever we will dip in some liquid or water the supports will be removed easily and the main object will be like that so moving with that so again uh, we have a container type system over here so we have the container we have this uh, build platform where our object will be build, build this will be moving downward so this again will be moving downward the object will be created on top of this so as i mentioned earlier we have this two type of materials one material is for the object so again it is a photopolymer material is used in this and this type of material is the dissolvable support material so if you have a object and we have supports inside this so normally we have to using the pliers we have to remove the supports but in this case we are using the support material which is dissolvable so we have to just uh, put the entire object with the support materials inside water for a few minutes to hours and then it will be easily dissolvable and the support will be removed easily so we have two types of material one which is made for object one which is for the object and one is for the support materials then now you have this again this moves in this direction these two directions we have the connection inlet so this is the nozzle where we have one connection coming from the photopolymer material one connection coming from the support material both are attached over here these are the two nozzles from one nozzle you will get the 
object material which the main object will be printed and the other nozzle will get the support material so there are two different types of nozzles so the this will move in this direction this is moving downwards so this is the z axis this is the x axis movement now this is a laser source again which it, it will cure the object uh, the liquid it will cure the object wherever it strikes so two nozzles as i mentioned so type of the material is coming one is the main object one is for the support materials you have this uv light coming continuously from it which will cure the material which hardens the material so as i mentioned the object will be created it will be created layer by layer one will cover this layer this part will cover the support so this is the support so with this material only this support is created and with this material this entire object is created and the uv light is used for curing to harden the surface and this will move downwards and the entire object will be created upwards and then finally we have to take this object dip into the water or liquid a particular liquid and the object the support will be easily removed and we will get the harden object which we require so this is all about material jetting so moving towards the next so next type of printer is binder jetting technology so in this binder jetting so binder is nothing but binding so here you have a, the powdered material and the powder material is uh, if we put some liquid in the powder material it will get solidified so in this technology we are using powdered material so uh, you can get with the example like if you have cement so cement is a powdered material and if you put liquid in this or water in that so it will get solidified so that is the technology used in this binder jetting so the construction of binder jetting again we have the build plate this is the bottom plate where our object will form this build plate goes down so this is a build platform it goes down so uh, as the as our object progresses it goes down now this bead plate is filled with the powdered material it is called as powder bed so different types of materials are used in this then uh, parallelly you have an another uh, container where we have the extra powder material this is the new powder stock how it works i'll explain so this platform moves upward this goes down and this is the new uh, stock powder which gets refilled into this now this is the object we, which we want to create uh, this is the nozzle this nozzle will move in this direction so this is the inkjet printed this is the nozzle or the uh, print head from where the droplets of liquid come now here you have the liquid material so as i explained this is powder this is the liquid material so the liquid material is connected to the nozzle and from the nozzle uh, wherever we require uh, the object to be printed it is dropped over there you have the roller blade uh, powder roller so powder roller works like it uh, uh, moves forward and uh, whatever the new material comes up it moves to this plate i'll explain the whole working so let's move to that so firstly considering that uh, this is our object and it has been again sliced into three parts so here we have just taken an example where one object is cut into three parts and we'll prepare this first part then this and then the top one so let's begin so as i explained this is the build plate which moves downwards so this is the initial position of the build plate it starts from the top first layer is printed then second third fourth till the top it is getting printed this is filled with the restock material this is the powder roller so let's move so now as the uh, material starts to drop the liquid is dropped the first layer is created so wherever the droplets are put that part gets solidified and once the part gets solidified it moves down now this first layer is created now we have to create the second layer so now for creating the second layer this build plate will move down so now you can see the uh, liquid drops are stopped for a while when the plate is moving down the new material is stocking up it stops for a while so now this build, build plate has moved down and it has made the provision or space for creating the second layer that is the this layer so now this plate will move up, new material will come up this roller will push the material and it will refill this entire area so this in, uh, area is now filled so first layer will be there and with this the second layer will be created by dropping again next layer now for the final layer again this will go down 
that will come up the roller blade will push the material into the tank and it will be filled and finally again the droplets will start and the final layer will be created so this is how a uh, layer by layer so if we have 100 layers this process will happen 100 times till the entire layer is created so you have the liquid material and you have the powder material here so liquid material binds with the powder so it's basically like as i give the example of the cement you can uh, think of an example of a flour if you are uh, you have, if you have to make the dough from the flour you have to add water it gets solidified so this that's the uh, method or the logic behind binder jetting so binder means binding so hope this is clear uh, next one is the material extrusion 3d printer so this is the basic 3d printer which we have seen from the start which i have shown the video so you have the material spool or the filament is there the filament thread is moved inside this nozzle you have the heating chamber over here heating element which if you have the pla material it will uh, the nozzle temperature will be around 200 degrees celsius from 200 degrees celsius it will melt this filament and layer by layer it will create the entire object so this build platform will move up and down this will move in the horizontal direction and will create the entire spool of uh, entire material by layer by layer it will create so this is the basic one that is the material extrusion printer next you have the sheet lamination the sheet lamination is basically like it is like the cnc only so you have this laser coming up from the top you have the glass which deflects the laser and you have the sheets layers of sheets they are of equal sizes and each layer is cut according to the shape so this is basically like cnc machine only so it cuts each and every sheet and you get the object so we don't use this much but uh, it is there then you have the powder bed fusion so this powder bed fusion as you can see it is similar to our binder jetting so here again you have the powder bed new stock material same everything it is there but the difference is that you have a laser over here so uh, with the use of the laser this material is generated so it is same as your binder jetting but uh, in that we are using liquid as the binder material here you are using laser as the material to bind the powder otherwise the process is entire same next you have the directed energy deposition so this is the directed energy deposition uh, you have the spool of material it is directed from one of the ends and you have the laser source so mostly the engine parts metal parts are used inside this so again you have the powder material over here the laser is di directed at a particular angle and it basically binds the material and you get the perfect object so sheets uh, aluminium stainless steel titanium everything can be printed so again this is you, as you can see it is similar to our binder jetting property only so these were all the 3d printers classification of the 3d printers now energy wise consumption of the 3d printers so we studied about vat photopolymerization 3d printer we studied about material jetting binder jetting material extrusion sheet lamination powder bed fusion and directed energy deposition printer so these were the all printers we studied so i have arranged them according to this starting from the vat photopolymerization to the directed energy deposition now why they are arranged in this way so they are arranged in the level of their power consumption so for vat photopolymerization there is the lower energy consumption and for directed energy deposition it has the highest energy consumption so the energy consumption flow is from vat photopolymerization to directed energy uh, your directed energy deposition so lowest in this and highest in this so many kilowatts of energy is uh, wasted because you have laser as the energy source which requires lots of energy so this is all about the classification of the 3d printers and the energy consumption see you in my next video thank you